Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and today is the very start of an exciting test. This is going to be Honda Genuine Full Synthetic versus Nissan Genuine Motor Oil. And that's right, these are going head to head at negative 50 C Celsius below zero, which is negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. That's right, let's kick it off. I also wanted to mention my giveaway. Every last Saturday of the month, we do a huge Evens giveaway, hundreds and hundreds of dollars in gift cards, all the way from Snap-on tools we give away. We've given hundreds of dollars in Snap-on. So if you're new to the channel, definitely hit the notifi notification bell when you subscribe. That way you'll be able to get that ring on your phone when we do another video. And we're gonna be publishing every Wednesday and Sunday. We may step it up to Monday and Tuesday. So be ready for that. Leave a comment in the description section below within that first 30 minutes. That's your ticket in to be randomly selected. All right, the first one going in is the ultimate full synthetic Honda. Boom, and here we go. Shaboo-boo. Now for number two, genuine Nissan. Here we go. Mm. Let's do it. Ooh, a nice little color difference. This is going to be exciting. And now I'm just going to show you the temps real quick. Boom. 61 degrees. And... 61.3. So here we go. We're going inside the bolt. Going in for five hours. All right, now for a nice little demonstration. So we're gonna start off with regular mineral oil. So that would be right here. This is what regular mineral oil would look like when you put it in your vehicle. This here would be a synthetic blend. Synthetic blend is usually one to 15% synthetic. This would be a full synthetic. So this is your synthetic blend mixed with some mineral oil, also with your 
synthetic, which is the round spheres. And that would be basically uh, up to 25% synthetic or more would be a full synthetic. So believe it or not, full synthetic is not 100% synthetic, which a lot of people don't know. So now we're over to our 100% synthetic, which is right here. This is all the spheres, and that's what they look like. Coming over to here, this would be your mineral oil after 3,000 miles. You'll see all these little carbon deposits, and these are buildup. And basically those build up over time, and your car loses performance. It uh, idles a little uh, rougher. You'll have a little pinging and knocking. Uh, you can even have loss of compression, extra wear in your motor, on your pistons and cams and all different components like that. So this would be a synthetic blend after about 6,000 miles, quite a bit of carbon buildup. This would be your full synthetic after about 10,000 miles. You still have quite a bit of carbon, not as much, but still present. And now to the 100% synthetic. So that would be 100% synthetic after about 25,000 miles. And I know you're thinking that's got to be impossible. Well, take a look right here. That's a video. You'll see where we did 25,000 miles. So as you saw in the cold flow test, obviously the different uh, levels of synthetic oils and mineral oils definitely changes its cold flow property. Now we're going to show a little wear test on how it actually wears. So we're going to take this as if this was say the piston and this would be your cylinders and we're going to do a cylinder scuff test. So you have a little bit of, a little bit of wear here. We've got this going up and down. And you look, with a little bit of pressure, you got quite a bit of scratches. And even if you have enough little pinging or knocking, you can even maybe even get it to rip like that. So definitely going to have more wear. Now we're on to a basically synthetic blend. It rubs a lot smoother with some of these rounder ones, but still a little scratchy, but much less wear. It's feeling overall quite a bit easier. And now we're going to on to our full synthetic. So we're going to go like this. Wow, a little less effort. Quite a bit easier, but still a little, a little rolly, a little, uh, a little inconsistent. And now on to our 100% synthetic. Let's give it a try. Glides pretty good. Yeah. So uh, a lot easier. So there you go. That's your basics of the synthetic motor oils that are on the market. And I wanted to mention too, if you wanted to see a cylinder liner scuff test, go ahead and go into the description section. There's a link down there. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, click show more. That'll open up a whole box below this video. And if you're on a smartphone, you'll see a little reverse down arrow. That'll be to your right hand. Click that reverse down arrow, boom it'll open up that whole box and check that out. So you'll see here how there is that wear. This is this one, this one, and this one. And you see all these little carbons here? Those little carbons? Those all can be removed with an engine flush. So also check out the playlist right here on all the different engine flush videos. I also wanted to mention this dynamic also applies to synthetic transmission fluid and your differential gear fluid. So the gear lube can actually be mineral oil, synthetic blend, full synthetic, or 100% synthetic. So you have those four options with transmission fluid, gear lube, and motor oil. Of course, I wanted to throw in the prices of the motor oil. The Honda oil, 450, and the Nissan oil, $6. So Honda remains the winner. It won this challenge. Next up, Toyota. Take a look. We're going to be doing Honda versus Toyota coming up. So what we demonstrated was our cold start protection. About 80% of the wear on your vehicle is during that cold start. So when you run these higher quality lubricants, uh, which we discussed about the other uh, mixes of all different from synthetic blend 
100% synthetic mineral oil and uh, truly an awesome test but about 80% of that wear is during the cold start. I'm so excited. Man, that was just such an awesome video. Next up, Honda versus Toyota. That video will be right here. This is the playlist on all the different uh, motor oils here on the cold pour tests. And uh, well, also YouTube wants you to check out this video up here. We'll see you back next time on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.